Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. James Charmack here with another Godzilla video for you. So, this is the uh, original Godzilla 1954 designed probably around 2000 by Bandai. The original van uh, vinyl figure, 6 inches. They uh, recently did a revamp, so we're going to look at not only this, we'll compare it with the brand new one, the uh, new design for the 1954 obviously you can tell right away there's a huge difference but we'll uh first take a look at the old one just to see you know whatever and uh, then we'll jump in and compare the two so let's uh talk about this one a little bit first so i guess for about 24 years this is the godzilla 1954 you're going to get i was never a big fan of the head sculpt i thought it was a little weird I thought that the uh, mouth was a little elongated out the snap was a little short. You know, I think it was more designed after the puppet than the actual uh, suit, but what do I know? I don't know. I'm probably wrong with that. But still, you know, it's still a decent one. You know, can't complain. Nice colors going on, uh, you know, paint and whatever. Nice detail on the figure, obviously, with, uh, with these Bandai figures. I like, you know, that detail on it. He has that five. Uh, he has six points of articulation, and you know he's been. When did I buy this? I thought I think I bought this when they did an American release around the uh, American Godzilla. So I probably had it for a bunch of years, probably about ten years. Anyways, uh, you know, so we're gonna take a look at the brand new one, the brand new design, and see how it goes. And this is the brand new uh, design for the 1954. Uh, Already, I don't like the fact that they didn't have put slap paint on the claws and the, the toenails, but it is what it is. Looks like they get a little less paint on the uh, the uh, dorsal fins, I guess. Do that little paint job up there. Head sculpt, you know, I think I like the head sculpt a little bit better. You know, it looks you know more in tune with your classic Godzilla. Obviously, you know, they use two different, you know, designs for the original film. One, the puppet, the puppet and obviously a man in a suit. This is more probably man in a suit, I guess. Uh, like I said, I do wish there was a little more paint job to it. It has uh, less articulation than the other figure, which is kind of disappointing. It's got, you know, the arms can move, the tail can move. Does not have any articulation up top has no tail articulation so that's kind of disappointing even though the tail is made out of three to one two pieces neither one of them moves so that's kind of you know bums me out a little bit but it is what it is uh you know the skin isn't as you know is a little smoother than the other one but what do you want to do right i bought them for about 20 bucks off of amazon goes for about you know 25 dollars i guess it's like an import, obviously, because, uh, you know, this isn't the American version, so uh, comes with a little card on it. So, uh, let's uh, compare the two, I suppose. So, just for appearance, uh, just based on the side, I think the older one looks a little bit better, or a bit better, just because he looks, this one looks more just, you know, more vertical. This one looks more like, you know, more aggressive to it. Obviously, the mouths open a bit more, you know, with a roar. I never liked, you know, how small the eyes look when you're looking straight ahead. The eyes are a bit bigger on that one, but still, when you look to the side, you know, he looks that much more dynamic, I guess. Uh, it's got more... As you can tell with the light, there's a bit more detail. You know, the... Uh, the scales are a li little bit deeper on here, so you know I like that a bit more. The details are, you know, the scales are smoother, obviously, on that one. Uh, dorsal fins, I think these stick out a bit more than that, but it is what it is, I guess. A little disappointed. I would have thought you know, they would have improved a little bit. You know, I don't know, but what do I know? I guess. So paint apps, I think they were definitely going with more of the black and white look for the the new one. I do wish, you know, that they put some grays in for the claws, even if they weren't going to put red in for the mouth. But obviously, you know, 
since he has a, a black or you know dark gray tongue definitely they're going for the black and white aesthetic whereas the old one you know has that red going on but he has no colors you know definitely you can tell the the uh, claws and the toenails have color to them color goes all pretty much all the way down the tail more or less color kind of stops there so that's kind of a drag but you know he has that forehead thing going on up there and the eyes are a little bit bigger but let's see uh, I think this one's probably you know paint wise more interesting to look at so I'm gonna go with this I guess and as I said articulation wise the old the older one beats it down pat has that articulation to neck you know tail articulation one point besides the arms and the legs whereas the new just has arms that go up and down and legs that go up and down nothing going on with the tail nothing going on around the head so you know it is what it is I guess okay now likeness wise um, which one are you going for there because in the film if you've seen the original 1954 film either the American or the Japanese version you can definitely see there are two versions of Godzilla obviously there's a man in a suit and then they use a puppet for a couple of scenes specifically his first appearance when he shows up over the mountain I think this one looks more like the puppet I guess just because the snout's a bit longer obviously and I you know I always thought that was you know it looks a little bit different whereas this this is more the man in the suit it had obviously changed a few things around. Uh, he has that, you know, he's a little bit thinner. He should be like kind of that big, but you know, because he is lumbering, I guess. But still, I guess whichever like you know you're going for, I guess which which you know likeness you like, I guess goes off for you. So I'm pretty sure this go around play Mason and use it, you know, the the Bandai. Uh, as a base model for their version of uh, 1954 but you know it's I wouldn't say it's exact it's kind of close mm, maybe not really though but yeah I, uh, I think there's enough differences where I can say you know they didn't you know copy that one specifically so so I think in an upset I'm gonna go with the original uh, 1954 I think there's more going on with them more is more interesting to look at not just color wise, well, maybe color wise, but you know, there's definitely a lot of going on. A lot more going on. His tail's been a bit more rather than the tail just docile. You know, he kind of has a dumb look on his face where he's, you know, this one is more has the mouth open, ready to, you know, tear up the city. And, you know, he's definitely an angrier looking one. And he's just, this one's more, eh, what are you going to do, right? So. Which one do you guys like? Do you guys have this one? Let me know if you like this one a bit more than that one. Or if you have both, let me know which one you like. So, that's it for this review. Hope you guys did like it. You know, I like doing these Godzilla videos. I don't do them too often. Well, I do them a bit. I'm going to do a couple more at least. Uh, you know, we got a couple more figures coming in. There's a couple new Bandai's coming in that are, you know, kind of articulated. So we're going to see if those you know, hold any muster to it, but, uh, you know, we'll see what the channel holds, I, you know, I have figures I should be reviewing, we'll get to those, maybe I'll see if I, I might try to get one or two more Fan Expo Boston videos, if you guys like those, thank you so much for watching those, I hope you did like them, it's a fun trip, uh, I wanted to get the full, uh, or at least most of the, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, Charlie Cox panel. Somebody had a freak out in the middle of it, so you know that you know had to shut it off. So I didn't get that. But hope you guys like the two panels I did mostly. Well, most of it. I just felt like taking some pictures with the, the phone, so I didn't really record both both full out. I'm sorry about that, but hope you guys did like them. Anyways, you know we have more stuff to do on this channel, so we'll get to it eventually. My name is James Sharmack. This has been a Nerdman J and J. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't done so, like, subscribe, share, whatever, whatever you know, turns your fancy. And uh, as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.